Hi everyone, it's Andy from Andy in Tokyo and today we're traveling from Osaka to Kyoto. It's about 7.30 in the morning, so it's pretty early and I'm trying to beat those Kyoto crowds, but it is a Friday, so I'm sure it'll be really busy. So let's see how it goes. Getting to Kyoto. From Osaka, getting to Kyoto is extremely simple and it's also very cheap depending on the route you take. If you have the JR Rail Pass, I'd suggest taking the Shinkansen or the bullet train from Shinosaka Station to Kyoto Station. It only takes 15 minutes. Without the JR Rail Pass, this mode costs 1,420 yen. The cheapest option, which is the way that I took, is by taking the Hankyu Kyoto Main Line from Umeda to Kyoto. This mode takes about 44 minutes and costs 400 yen, and obviously is the one that I recommend. Hey everyone, just made it to Kyoto. Um, I'm going to go ahead and buy a bus pass. So if you want to travel around Kyoto and see all of the temples that you can see, which is of course what we're doing today, I believe the bus pass is only either 500 or 600 yen. I think they might have just had a price increase. So we're gonna go and try to get that. Okay, I just got the pass. It's 600 yen now, if you can see here. It used to be 500 yen, but I guess recently they jacked up the price, just another 100 yen. So it's one day, all city buses, not JR buses, for 600 yen. First major stop today is Kyomizu Dera Temple. Um, as I'm filming this, I'm a little bit lost right now, headed my way up there. I don't know if this is the correct way because there's literally nobody here and it's like about 9.15 a.m. So I don't know if it's just because it's early or whatever and these uh, gravestones to my left aren't really helping very much. If there's currently video overlaid from Kyomizu's data, then you know that I eventually got there um, somehow, some way. The sad thing, by the way, is the main stage of Kyomizu's data temple is currently under construction until 2020. So usually you'd be able to stand out and look over the entire sort of area that they have there, but it's sort of covered up right now, but I'll still try to make the best out of it today. Kyomizu Dera is one of the most popular and enjoyable temples in Kyoto. Entrance is only 300 yen, which in my opinion is very cheap for such a stunning scene. The Hondo, or main hall, is currently under construction, but you can still see the wonderful views from its ledge. Take a drink of water from Otowa no Taki, a waterfall said to heal illnesses. Jisu Jinja is a shrine with a pair of love stones. If you can walk from one to the other with your eyes closed, your desire for love will be fulfilled. Good luck! Sananzaka and Ninenzaka On your way down from Kyomizu Temple is the Sananzaka and Ninenzaka area. This area, composed of two streets, is filled with old wooden buildings, shopping, and amazing restaurants. Make sure to stroll down this way and see what you can find. I'm currently on Sananzaka. It's a set of steps, and apparently if you trip while you're walking down or up, you'll die in three years. So I'm about halfway down and I'm really hoping that I don't trip because I have no plans of dying in three years. So yeah, well, I'll see you at the bottom. Whew, okay, I made it. Um, no dying this time. Matcha House. Matcha House is one spot in this area you cannot miss. Their matcha tiramisu and matcha parfait are very popular, but the tiramisu was truly something special. Oh my god. You need to come here. <laughs> I'm currently right in front of the Starbucks in Ninenzaka, and this is a very, very interesting Starbucks that I highly suggest you check out. I promise this isn't a theme with the videos that I make about going to weird Starbucks in different cities because there was Kobe and now there's here, but I promise this one's worth it. As you can see from the inside, it's a super traditional looking Japanese tea house on the second floor and on the first floor is pretty much the same as you normally would find in a Starbucks. They give you a card and then you go up to the second floor to get your food or drinks. Right now I'm walking up some of the steps in Maruyama Park, which just translates to Circle Mountain for some reason. Anyway, I'm headed to two different temples right now. We're headed to Chianin Temple first and then we're going to Shen. Shenin? I am probably pronounced it wrong, so I'll put the correct name. It is a feat to get up here, but there is nobody here right now. I'm not sure why exactly, but it's about noon, so you think that there would be a lot of people here. There's no one. So definitely recommend coming here 
if you want the more off the beaten path locations. My apologies for the not so great lighting, but I do want to give you some advice if you do decide to come to Kyoto for just a day. Um, I definitely recommend sort of trying to get lost. And if you do get lost, just sort of go with it and enjoy being lost. There's so many places in Kyoto that just aren't at all surrounded by people. Of course, a lot of things in Kyoto are really crowded with tourists. However, if you do try to go a little bit out of your way, you will find that there are a lot of places that aren't crowded at all. So highly, highly recommend trying to get lost a little bit. Nishiki Market. This is a covered market that can be found in central Kyoto, close to the Gion district. Nishiki Market is best known for all of its food vendors that might remind you a little bit of Tsukiji in Tokyo. But there are also a lot of traditional Japanese goods stores, street food stalls, and restaurants. Watch out for all the crowds in the middle of the day. Right at the end of Nishiki Market, you'll find the Daimaru Mall. In the basement floor of this mall is the Daimaru Basement Food Floor. If you're still hungry after Nishiki, come here for plenty of free samples. And this place is so large that I got lost a few times on my way out, so just be careful of that. Oh, and if you're an alcohol drinker, the size of the sake they sell is huge. Next up, Fushimi Inari Shrine. Fushimi Inari Shrine is one of the most famous sites in all of Japan, let alone Kyoto, and is also a very important Shinto pilgrimage site. This shrine is famous for its trail of tori gates that continue up an entire mountain. And if you have time to spare, I would try making your way to the very top, but at least going here is pretty much required. Hi everyone. I thought that I was at the top, but the nice man told me I still have 40 more minutes left until I'm at the top. So let's see if that actually takes that long and I'll pick up the pace. The Gion district will make you feel like you've transported back to medieval Japan. Its streets are lined with old buildings and there's plenty to explore. Hanami Koji Street and Pontocho Street are the two largest sections of this district to check out. Don't forget to go to the Gion Shirakawa River either, and keep your eyes peeled. You might even spot a geisha as you explore this area. Hey all, so it's about three weeks later and I'm finally getting around to editing this video. Please don't hate me, but yeah, so I realized that I completely forgot to film any sort of ending to that video, so here is your lovely ending in my room at night while I'm editing this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you find yourself in Kyoto for a day, please feel free to follow my little advice that I gave you. And if you find yourself for more than a day in Kyoto, there's plenty of other things to do. Feel free to watch other videos that are online. But check out my blog to see some more details about the stuff that I did with all that jazz and in the description of this video should be all of the Google Maps locations for everything so you don't even have to try and look. Okay, I'm gonna end this video because it's already pretty long, but feel free to like, comment, and subscribe and all that. It always helps me out. It makes lets me know that you are enjoying everything. And without further ado, peace out. Whoosh.